G'day folks, today we're going to be talking about the Insta360 One, and uh, if any of you recall, I did a review back in December, or November of last year, just before Christmas, and um, it's a really decent camera for the price, it's uh, 299 bucks, and uh, it gives you all the advantages of 360, you know, you can shoot traditional 360 degree video that you can share to Facebook or other social media, but it also has free capture, which is similar to the GoPro over capture where you can punch out traditional uh, 16 by 9 videos uh, you know and uh, get different angles like that now insta360 has done something pretty incredible they have turned this into a brand new device via some updates they've updated the version of the app to 3.0 and the firmware to 2.0 and uh, what they've added is just incredible and i'm i'm gonna go as far as to say that this is the most versatile easy to use uh, feature pack camera that I've used 360 camera that I've used anyways uh, it's actually just incredible so we're gonna kind of go over the new software changes and how it works so we're just gonna launch the insta 361 app here it's already been updated and I've already gone ahead and transferred some of the videos that I shot uh, over the last week so basically the update package does a few things the first and foremost it introduced a uh, technology called flow state and it is stabilization that is like nothing else um, I'll show you here in a minute and then I'll put the uh, a video up on the screen but uh, the stabilization is just it's almost magic now I'm gonna show you this video um, we had it on an extension stick and uh, it was pretty long and heavy for our daughter and so she was running with it and of course it's just flailing around like I mean we're talking probably three feet four feet of difference from when she's running uh, back and forth so I wasn't quite sure how the video was going to turn out, you know, with that much movement. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to preview it here quickly on the phone and just behold. Like she's bobbing around, but look at how stable that is. Like that camera, it's hard to tell, but it is flailing around. And look how nice and stable that is. So wow, yeah. <laughs> Now the way she was holding the camera, uh, the first video I just showed you was pretty bad, but this one was even worse because here we had the extension pull out probably a good six, seven feet. So, you know, that's a lot of weight for a, a little girl to hold. And again, it was bouncing up and down a good four to five feet, you know, it was almost to the ground and up and all over the place. But uh, look just how stable that is. Just incredible, actually. An update like that alone would have been just amazing uh, but what they've done is they've redone the whole software to add a technology called pivot points and uh, that was one of the things that I didn't uh, really like about the software editing uh, with the free capture the free capture was really good but the problem is it was kind of like a one-off thing you know you would uh, start recording and you have to move your phone around to get the angles you want uh, but there's no really way to edit that you know if you make a mistake or you don't like it you just have to go in and just keep redoing it until you get something you like so what they've gone ahead and done is add a technology called pivot points and it allows you to add movement points basically throughout the uh, throughout the video to uh, set your composition and how you want the camera angled and I'll just kind of show you a little preview of that here so basically we've got my girlfriend here and she's running with the camera it's on a selfie stick um, what we can do is I'm gonna add a pivot point here so if we press on it gives us two options we can either smart track or we can do a pivot point smart tracking basically will follow her it will lock onto her and no matter which way the camera's facing it will always stay on her um, or if there's somebody else in the picture you know you can uh, lock onto them as well 
But for this demonstration, we're going to do a pivot point. Now I'm just adding a pivot point there and you can see down here in the timeline, it's got a mark. So we can go ahead and delete that later on if we want. So we're going to have it her running just along like that. And maybe at this point, we're going to go up to a shot to the sky. And we'll add another pivot point there. So now if we go back to the beginning, it'll start with her running there. And then you can see now the camera's moving to where we added a pivot point. Just right there. We can then uh, have it swing back around to her. Or maybe we'll go lock it onto the dog here. Or maybe we'll set a pivot point so it focuses on the dog. Now let's see how that looks. So it's going to the sky. Now we'll have it go back to the dog. There we go. So yeah, you know, you can do some pretty creative things with it. Uh, but like I said, you could also track. So at this point we could have it smart tracker. And as you can see, it added a little uh, tag there. And again, we can delete that uh, smart tracking as well. Now you can still do the freestyle capture editing and to basically get there we're going to click on the phone and instead of choosing a pivot point or a smart track feature we're going to click on the viewfinder they've renamed it to viewfinder and that gives you the old way of editing you press the record button and hold it down and it'll start recording from that point and as you slide it back and forth you can go in and out to tiny planet so i'll just show you here Just like so. And they do allow you to do some uh, basic editing. If we click this button up at the top here, uh, they have filters. You know, you can add different filters to change the look. You can change the speed of it. So you can speed it up quite a bit, and that's how you make hyperlapses. Uh, a 360 camera like this is a great way to make a hyperlapse, because if you use their pivot points and then speed it up, you can get some pretty pretty cool looking video footage. Uh, you can trim the beginning and the end, and they even have some music tracks you can add. You can see there I am chasing after the dog, and uh, just look how stable that is. Just crazy, and I'm not really holding that. It's on the end of extension pole, and uh, you know, so it is bobbing around quite a bit. <laughs> For exporting you can see down in the bottom left hand corner here we can change the aspect ratio right now it's at 9 by 16 uh, we can change it to 1 by 1 you know for Instagram and uh, traditional 16 by 9 now the other nice thing they did is they've added some split screen templates so if we click this button down here in the bottom right hand corner you can see it adds a little circle there with a different view you can uh, put it how you want or what you want in there if we click it again it makes it a bit bigger Click it again, it does like half and half. So you're able to export your videos and your edits as 360 degree video and upload them to Facebook and share them as 360 video, or you can export them as traditional 16 by nine um, from different various uh, viewpoints. So yeah, a great update for the Insta 361, uh, basically a whole new camera. And it shows you the power of these 360 cameras because that video I showed you earlier with my daughter running with the Insta360 at the end of an extension pole, if that had been a gimbal with like say a GoPro on it, there is no way a gimbal could have kept that footage stable. It would have looked ridiculous. But these 360 cameras can compensate for that and still smooth out the image. Well folks, that is the Insta361. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.